We are at Peabody Farms where we bought our piglets in the spring, um, but we're here to get our Christmas tree and to kind of reserve our pigs for next year, remind them that we still want some. <laughs> But there is a Christmas market, and it's just like something at a little house in the prairie. Oh, look at this. Trees and swags, fire to sit by, and I'm hearing music. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at this, folks. Pleasant surprise. We came here looking for a Christmas tree and found a Christmas market in the middle of nowhere. I love this. So what are you selling? So these are the last of the wreaths that uh, our friend has made. There's vines from her yard and all the proceeds are going to the uh, Snow Suit Fund in Wakefield. And how much are they? They're $30 for wreath or if you have some change left over you can put it in here for a donation. Exactly. I'm gonna I'm gonna say no but <laughs> yeah. these people are gonna know that I just did a, a whole video on making wreaths. So No way. Well, yeah, well, my husband, so how many people have been here? More than five. And yet, and yet I came here looking for a tree. I had no idea exactly. that I had a, a farmer's <laughs> Christmas market in my neighborhood. Let's go look for more, more stuff. Look, folks, I want grandchildren so bad. Look how tiny that is. And the workmanship. Like, look at this stuff, folks. You just can't buy this stuff in stores anymore. Oh, my God. I knit. This is why I'm going... Wow, good job. Thank you so very much. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, ooh. Oh wow. You have been busy. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying the next time you need to look for a Christmas tree, Take a back road. You'll be surprised at what you find, and pleasantly so. Merry Christmas. Take care. God bless. Thank you, Daddy. A lot of sap. A lot of sap.